Saturday afternoon, quarantine day. I've lost track. I decided that I'm gonna make some homemade pasta today, so I'm gonna just walk you through it. So, start with my flour with a little hole in the middle. Kinda looks like a volcano. Add egg into it, slowly. Right into my well. Look, it kinda looks like lava inside the volcano. A sprinkle of salt in the egg. Do, 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 do. Take a drizzle of olive oil. That's enough. And then, you see, I'm just folding it over itself, like so, to get it started. You can also use your hands to do it. That's okay, too. I've got my dough incorporated, so I'm just going to knead it for a couple minutes, like so. Just keep pushing it over itself, like this. You want to develop the gluten in the pasta. And then we're going to let it rest. Make it into a ball like this. Push it down just a smidge. Then I'm going to wrap it in plastic and let it sit for about an hour. And then we'll roll it out. Here we are about to roll out the pasta. Flour my surface. Got my dough here, but I'm going to cut it in half and do it in two different sections. Got my dough. Here we go. Sprinkle a little bit more flour on it. You're just going to roll it like this. Keep turning it as you go so that it spreads out nice and even. And you want to get it as thin as you possibly can get it. Oof. All right, so this is about as thin as I want to get it right here. So I got my pizza cutter. I'm just going to trim the edges to make it kind of nice and neat. All right, so I'm gonna go with about a fettuccine type of noodle today. I'll cut this in half one more time. Keep that over here. And then I'm just gonna cut it as thin as I can get it over here for my pasta noodles. See, like this, that's it. That's all there is to it. Delicious. That's it, there's your pasta. I'm gonna make a bechamel sauce, which is essentially a white sauce I'm gonna use with my pasta. Just melting butter first. Add some garlic for some flavor. I just have already minced in a jar. Then what we're gonna do is make a butter flour roux to start with. I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time. Whisk that together. So, make sure your heat isn't too high. I'm going to add a little bit more flour. Whisk that together. What I'm going to do is slowly add milk and whisk it together. Add a little bit more. Whisking as you go. You want it to be able to get to nappe, and I'll show you that when I get mine to the level that I want it to be. At this point, where my sauce is, what I want to start doing is building the flavor of the sauce. As you cook, you really want to season as you go. So I'm going to hit it with a little bit of salt, and then fresh pepper. So remember earlier when I was talking about you want to get the sauce to nappe? So take your spoon. Dip it in the sauce, and then if you can run a line like this, and the line stays and it doesn't drop down, that means you're perfect. It's time to add the cheese. So I'm just gonna put in some Parmesan, grated Parmesan. You can use shredded if you've got it. Then I'm just gonna whisk this in, and you can always add more. You can't take away, so little bits at a time is best. And again, you're going to whisk until it gets all nice and smooth, and then taste it. See, 
where you're at flavor wise if you need more salt add a little bit more salt if you need more pepper add some pepper if you want more cheese add some more cheese so i've got my water boiling i'm gonna add my pasta i put a little bit of salt and olive oil in it so that they don't stick together as they cook i'm just gonna slowly add the pasta <laughs> chicken alfredo. Oh, this pasta should take no longer than five minutes to cook. My sauce is nice and thick. It's exactly how I want it to be. I added the chicken. The pasta is almost cooked. So you can see it's kind of plumped up a little bit. None of it is sticking together because of the olive oil that I put in. It's looking great. Just drained my water out of the pasta. Now it's ready to dish up and eat. There you have it. Homemade pasta with homemade alfredo sauce, chicken, cherry tomatoes, and fresh spinach. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking with Lexi.